What if I told you that if you smoke DMT and look at a laser bouncing off a wall, that it will reveal a hidden computer code, like the language of our reality? And this will finally prove this universe we're all in is a massive simulation. And you and I are just characters in a game that's being controlled by some person in a different dimension. DMT and lasers revealing the mysteries of the universe. Late in 2022, I started receiving DMs from people in the psychedelic world about a trailer for a film called The Discovery. In this trailer, there's a voice that makes a, what he believes to be, groundbreaking discovery. That if you smoke DMT and look at a diffracted red laser light, which is light spreading out after bouncing off an object, the diffracted light will reveal computer code running on the surface just like in The Matrix. He calls this the discovery. And in the trailer, a variety of DMT smokers claim they've also seen this code. The notion that's being suggested is DMT does something to the brain, like opening a portal, and when diffracted laser light is seen, it reveals the underlying code of the universe, which also supports the idea of simulation theory, which basically means our reality is just an elaborate computer simulation that's being controlled externally from another reality. Since this video was published on YouTube on October 2024, it's garnered over 340,000 views. The trailer spawned thousands of comments on subreddits like simulation theory, DMT, and high strangeness, with many people across the world trying this DMT and laser combo platter. So what's happening? Does this phenomenon actually prove that tripping on DMT can finally provide us with the evidence that we're all living in a simulation? Or is there perhaps another explanation? Put a hold on DMT for a bit. Let's talk about red lasers. This is a laser, also called coherent light. It's coherent because all the waves are on the same wavelength. The ups and downs are synced perfectly. This rhythm gives laser photons its razor sharp clarity. When these perfectly synced laser photons get diffracted, they spread out into different angles, also called maximas. The higher the maxima, the less intense and more spread out these photons will be. This means that some light will look dimmer than other light. And when all these maximas are stacked upon each other, some dimmer, some brighter, perhaps it can appear as if there's depth within this diffracted light, almost like the light occupies a space within the object. This sense of depth that refracted light is capable of could be what some people are seeing while they're doing this DMT laser thing. According to the DMT subreddit, the method in which to look at this laser while on DMT is to treat it like an audio stereogram. That's like those magic eye books that were popular in the 90s, which gave people the perception of 3D without any weird glasses. Each page has some chaotic colors in it, and in order to see the hidden image, you had to stare at the page, then defocus your stare so that you're looking through the image. Ah, looking through the image to see an illusion, similar to how diffracted light can give a sense of depth. But what about the color red? Does that hold some effect? Well, actually, the color red has some strong significance for humans. It's associated with ripe fruit, blood, and danger. All things that are evolutionarily important and attention grabbing for us. Red also has the ability to increase physical arousal. But not only that, red can even affect your memories. Just seeing the color red makes your brain give off strong gamma waves. These gamma brain waves are usually associated with things like focus and concentration, learning and memory, and perception and awareness. The only other color that comes close to this level of gamma wave intensity is green. That same matrix green that the coding language found in the discovery also looks like. Could it be the simple act of perceiving red automatically heightens our arousal, memory, and attention, and combined with the audio stereographic nature of how we perceive this diffracted light, which is this defocusing of our eyes on laser light that already has a varying degree of dimness all stacked onto each other, perhaps there's an optical illusion happening that can contribute to us seeing light particles that look like code. And bro, we haven't even started talking about the DMT. Dimethyltryptamine, DMT. It's a very powerful psychedelic that creates extremely vivid visuals, 
almost like someone is pushing play on your eyes and your entire field of vision gets replaced by wacky stuff. We believe DMT's visual ability works by mostly activating serotonin receptors in your brain, a specific type called 5-HT2A. Imagine DMT as small little keys that have the ability to open up small little locks called receptors. When you smoke DMT, those little keys scatter across your brain and activate the parts of your brain that have these little locks or receptors. Keys open doors. The DMT experience differs from most psychedelics due to its eidactic visuals, images that seem more real than real, hyper complex and vivid, almost like the clarity of video is increased from 4K to 118K. Hyper clear, hyper contrasted, it's as sharp as, as a laser. Laser-like visuals from DMT where the pixels of the trip can be as small as photons of light. There's another strange phenomenon with psychedelic trips. It increases a mental phenomenon called pareidolia. This is perceiving meaning or recognizing patterns within absolute randomness, like staring at a wall and eventually seeing a face within it. This happens all the time, even without drugs. Humans are pattern recognition machines. It's how we've gotten as far as a species. But on psychedelics, this pareidolia increases tremendously, which is why everything on a trip seems so significant. It's why when we're tripping, we see incredible patterns in the randomness of carpet or elaborate psychedelic shapes in the sky. Could it be that while under the effects of DMT, our mental pareidolia engine goes into overdrive? And what would normally appear to be random laser light particles are now significant characters and letters that are clear enough to look like letters, but have no true context. Like some of the matrix-like characters people claim to see while smoking DMT and looking at these lasers. But remember, people aren't just smoking DMT and looking at diffracted lasers. No, they're getting close to the laser and unfocusing their eyes, intentionally making their vision blurry. By making their vision blurry, they're reducing the quality of visual information their eyes are receiving. This is important because DMT works best in obscured vision. That's why tripping with your eyes closed produces the best possible visuals that DMT has to offer. Remember, when your eyes are closed, you're still seeing. You're seeing the back of your eyelids. Your vision is just super obscured. When tripping, obscured vision is important because it enables your brain to make predictive processing errors. I know it's a big topic and we'll do a deep dive in another show. But in short, your brain tries to predict everything it sees before it even sees it. Then it fact checks or error corrects if a prediction made doesn't line up with what's actually there. This is a process that happens beautifully your entire life. But when you do psychedelics, this fact checking within this predictive processing engine, it becomes less accurate. Less reality fact checks happen, and your brain begins to make wild predictions with little to no visual information. Imagine you walk into a dark room and you see a coat rack in the distance. Since it's dark, you don't know if that's actually a coat rack or some dude in the distance wearing a coat. In darkness, your vision is obscured and less sharp, which enables your brain to make incorrect and wild predictions. Now add psychedelics to this process and your brain goes nuts. That's why tripping with your eyes closed is so amazing. Your brain can fill in the absence of your obscured vision with whatever it wants, and there's nothing to stop it. But your vision doesn't have to be completely obscured while in DMT for this predictive processing engine to malfunction. Something like defocusing your eyes in order to look through an object can also add to this breakdown in your brain's error correction, allowing you to see things that aren't really there. Also, consider things like expectancy effect, which happens when a person's belief and expectations subconsciously influence the outcome of whatever they're doing. So if you've heard about seeing computer code while looking at lasers on DMT, your friends are saying you'll see computer code, people on social media are saying you'll see computer code, then when you actually smoke DMT and look at diffracted laser light, don't be surprised if you see computer code. In the psychedelic scene, they call this setting your intentions before a trip. But in reality, you're just priming your brain to have a specific experience. Intentional propaganda for the mind. And one final thing I want to touch on. Bro, we're around digits and characters every single day. Language has literally constructed modern society. Language is the main form of communication for humans, 
and your phone and computer are throwing digital letters and characters and emojis to you every single day. It's inescapable. Language is how we derive meaning from most things. Just imagine everything you've read today, every road sign, nutritional label, DMs, emails, books, PDFs, option menus for games. It's your entire life. So having a DMT experience and seeing language is not out of the ordinary. In fact, it is pretty ordinary. Also, just a health advisory, don't smoke DMT and look at laser light. Sure, you're not supposed to look directly at the light, but people are gonna do it anyway. Looking directly at a laser can cause retinal damage. It can burn your eye. And your retina doesn't have pain receptors. So you won't even know it's happening. How amazing would it be if everything we've known about the universe and how it operates came crumbling down with one hit of DMT? As a neuroscience DMT researcher, I want this to be true. Imagine somewhere hidden deep within this mundane world is an entire architecture of code that is the basis of everything we've ever seen. Well, it does exist. It's called physics. And it's a world filled with atoms, subatomic particles, and fields of energy that go through time and space. We know this because of hundreds of years of scientific inquiry. And it's way more mysterious than smoking DMT and looking at diffracted light and having some optical illusion. Also, the idea of simulation theory, the belief that reality is a sophisticated computer simulation created by some advanced civilization. Bro, this is an unfalsifiable hypothesis, meaning it's impossible to be proven wrong, which also means it's impossible to be proven true. Simulation theory is better served as a metaphor to describe our world. Like you wake up in the morning, respawn. You travel to another city, you're changing servers. Get into a fight, you've enabled PVP mode. But don't look at simulation theory as a basis of reality, nah. Reality is way more weird than that. Don't downgrade it. Okay, so let's recap. When lasers are diffracted, it can create a sense of depth. Looking at this diffraction in an audio stereographic way to focus your eyes allows you to look directly within the light. The red in the laser is evolutionarily significant and attention grabbing. It raises physical arousal and affects memory. Perceiving red enables strong gamma brain waves that are implicated in focus, concentration, perception, and awareness. This could make a person hyperattentive to a visual illusion. When DMT is added, it gives hyper complex didactic visuals that appear to be laser sharp. Psychedelics increases pareidolia, which is finding meaning in patterns and randomness. So when a person affixes their vision on the randomness of diffracted light while on DMT, meaning could be created when there is none. Now, if you add unfocused vision, it will further create predictive processing errors that makes you see things that aren't there. Add the expectancy effect, people telling you that you'll see something, and also the sheer fact that we live in a very language-based society, all of this combined, and you may see the psychopharmacologically aided optical illusion of computer code on objects with diffracted laser light while on DMT. But bro, what a waste of DMT. Just close your eyes and trip. I know what you're thinking. Zeus, have you tried smoking DMT and looking at this diffracted laser? Of course I have. I did it in this very shirt and I did it in Amsterdam. And if you want to know what happened, join my Patreon and see the entire video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Lies You Believe About Psychedelics. And be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment. I read all of them and follow on X, TikTok, and Instagram, all at Tapato. Your drug on brains. brains.